Hey everyone and welcome to the course review process part two. All right quick review in part one I talked about the first steps in my process which was basically getting organized reviewing the rubric and then capturing my first impressions of course so I didn't lose those. All right so now we're on to part two or step two or the second part of my process which I lovingly think of as Rauela or in English hopscotch. So what do I mean? Well there's two ways to approach this course review with the Oscar SUNY uh, rubric. First is to start with standard one and just start working your way down the rubric and hopscotch around the course. Or you can work your way through the course and hopscotch around the rubric. What do I do? I, <laughs> I like to hopscotch around the rubric. I find it easier than hopscotching around the course. You'll still hopscotch around the course a little bit, but not too much, especially if uh, you do um, what I have a tendency to do, which is first in this second part of my process, I do a course scan. I just want to get a feel for how the course is laid out, where I'm likely to find certain types of information and so on. I want to take a look at, is the syllabus a typical syllabus that houses more, most of the course policies and learning objectives and so on, or are those things going to be in different parts of the course? I also look at how the course is structured or divided. Is it in modules, weeks, units, uh, combination, and so on? And what is what am I likely to find in those separate distinct units or weeks or modules? So that's the first thing I do. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here we are, we're at the home page, and I'm going to take a look at the syllabus and it looks pretty standard. We've got course and text materials, guidelines for discussion, netiquette. Um, we've got a schedule with uh, links directly to assignments and so on. Now that could be useful for me as a reviewer. I could use this as my hopscotch jump around um, home base when I'm looking for specific things, which is great. All right, so um, I noticed there's a modules here, so this is structured in, ter in terms of modules. So I've got student orientation and check this out. Goals and outcomes listed for module one, for module two, and so on. Plus there were some learning objectives stated in the syllabus. So now I'm starting to get a feel for the course. I note that uh, if there are any standards related to goals, objectives, outcomes, I'm likely to find them in two different places, the syllabus and at the top of each module or opening statement or overview of each module. So that's what I mean by get a feel for things, all right? Now, because I like to jump around in the rubric rather than in the course, I, I go through and I identify both in the course and the syllabus like which standards are related most likely to the syllabus. So 1 through 10, 11 and 12, 39 and 40. So great. I'm going to go to the syllabus. I'm going to start reading through this and I am going to uh, locate those standards and review the syllabus because those are See, like prerequisite skills for using technology. Okay, that's in the syllabus, so I'll be able to, I'm at the syllabus, I'll be able to review that. Same with 12, and same with um, 38 and 39, expectations. These are syllabus items. So uh, again, I'm jumping around the rubric while I'm in one place in the course. And like I said, I find it easier to jump around the rubric because it's really easy to scan this rubric, but the course, there's a lot more to it, right? All right. But of course, there are plenty of standards in the rubric. 
that are going to be relevant to all of the content. For example, the entire design section. If I go to design and layout, you know, this is referring to pretty much any page or piece of uh, content in the course. So this is a little bit more challenging. You know, you want to, on this one, you might jump around. Um, in, uh, excuse me, you might jump around in the course rather than the rubric. So I might start with 16 and say, logical, consistent, and uncluttered layout. Great, now I'm gonna jump around the course. I'm gonna look at the syllabus. Does this look pretty consistent and easy to follow? I'm gonna go to the modules. I'm gonna go to something within a module and start looking and so on and so forth and see if that particular uh, standard is met. Then I'll move on to 17 and 18 and so on. Okay, so like I said, a certain amount of hopscotching in each, either place. Um, and I have a certain process that works for me, but this is something that you might want to think about um, for a number of reasons. One, it'll help you do your reviews. Two, uh, next week, we are going to make revisions. One of the revisions you might make is restructuring the standards within the rubric so that it supports the way that you prefer to review. All right? Okay, so I think that's enough for now. My hopscotchy step, Rauela, um, doing a course scan, and then hopscotching through the rubric first, and then certain parts having to hopscotch through the course. Okay, I hope that helps. Take care.